Eriwo ya. Eriwo ya. Eriwo ya. Ayako, ayato, ayaje, ayamu. O meriwo simple. Iba oludumari. Oba ate rere ki aye. Iba ti ojo, iba ti orun, iba le oje efi koye. Iba umi la le ipin, iba kou mela kosun, iba kou umi la eti kosun. Iba akoda, iba sheda, iba oba risha nife, iba lajelo nife, iba oba lume nife. Iba olo ye fosu ibo de ni edu o ni ajipa. Iba ifa kpa mila, iba azu shola akere jo odu, iba arba la otu ife, iba iya wunjwe ye, iba gungun, iba baba, iba ye ye. Iba lo fin ago fin nige, iba popo awo, iba oji kona, iba omo duduwa. Orumi la da kondabo, pele, pele, pele. Orumi la da kondabo, pele, pele, pele. Orumi la da kondabo, pele, pele, pele. Lo tun, lo si, arira, gusu. Ase ni ma wok pele, pele. Adami wa ye kere, adami u. Adama wa ye pere, 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 pere. Akpan bi akko, akko bi akko. Akpan, 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 akpan. Akko kko wa le, kko kko. Ano kko kle pa kota. Akpa to fi le, re si le, ti pi le, ni le, ti le, ti le, ti le, ti le. Kun la o, wa kpo to. Kun la shek palek palek, wa kpo to. Kun ni, o ni le o kho, wa kpo to. Kun la shek palek palek, akko re le me, dan dan dan, si kipa ye gire, ye gire, si kipa di kone, na ja gwen. O me na kan bere, wo di, nusiko a te, o mo bebe. Nusiko o kon, e baka e le si. Then like, tee, 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 pen, kere re je, o nilo komo pa, o rumi la show ko, kene ma re re a je je, ni bani, pena ya, a ki ba rumi la show ko, kene ma re re a ya, ni bani, pena, omo a ki ba rumi la show ko, kene ma re re, omo, omo ni bani, pena ile, a ki ba rumi la show ko, kene ma re re, ile, ile ni bani, pena e shin, a ki ba rumi la show ko, kene ma re re, e shin, e shin la o, ma, Kunshawo, eshin lao, ma kunshawo. Ayo mo bi eshika kolo ba mi fa, eshin lao, ma kunshawo. Ashu, ashile, ashu wari kwere, 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 kwere. Kwere, 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 kwere. Ada mi wa yi kwere ng kwen ng kwen. E fa ti mi wa yo dun kwen. E fa ti mi o... Wa ye. E fa ti mi wa yi kwele. Kwele, 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 kwele. A ki an so, a ki an kwen. O se tere ni wan po bi lo de ke tu. A jan la we, ni wan po bi lo de la we. Wani ki wan omo ti wa, wani yon ti yon fin po, wani ki wan omè mu wa, wani yon mu na li yon she o, wani ki wan omu omi tu tu wa, wani han, 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 iba yi le nou mi lo yi fi, iba yi le nou mi to yi le o, iba foun ko lo bo, ti yo ten wik ni pi re, ebo nou ni ko wa she, Obe ko rupo, oni ko lobo. Teni ure ure ko lobo. Ki o ure ta je, ki o ure ta ya, ki o ure tomo, ki o ure ti re kpopo. Ki o muta iku, ki o fi pe lu re ko lobo. Teni ure ure o. Ashe le, ashe wale o, ashe wale kere, 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 kere. Ata wa ye kan, e fa ti mi wa yo dun. Ah, baba mi o. E da mi pe, ye ye mi u, ara u rokun. E fa ti mi wa yodun, e wa ye. Ata ma wè kwe le, kwe le, kwe le, kwe le, kwe le. Me ta la, i pe le, ki okon, ki okon. Ki okon kon, okon kon, okon kon. Me ta la, i pe le, ki okon, ki awan. Ki okon kon, okon kon, okon kon. Me ta la, i pe le, ki okon, ki awan. Ki okon kon, okon kon, okon kon. Me ta la, i pe le, ki okon, 
This is Babo Puss and Wife Akuri de Fadairo. Uh, thank you, Alicia, for subscribing. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, so why the topic today? First, let me look back and make sure. Let's get some uh, likes, subscribes, some follows, some shares. Uh, and, of course, if you seek to truly make sure that things are flowing in a certain kind of way, feel free to uh, contribute to things that, you know, as I go forward and giving these things, literally giving these things and connecting to the to people in a different way, I always seek to uh, make sure that those that, you know, to give, to give in response to the to teaching that you're doing. Don't just be an idle listener. You know, make sure that you pay homage or, or give respect to those who give to you, you know, unconditionally. You know, um, think about that. And so when we say, if I is to wisdom as an elder is to youth, that's pretty primarily what I was saying when I did that. I definitely like, subscribe, share, follow. Let's get those things up in mobile. Appreciate it, appreciate it. But the reason why I was saying it specifically, like Big Lowe's, thank you for coming through. Uh, thank you for uh, coming through for all those that came through, because you could have been in many different places and spaces and, you know, not been here. You could have been in many other places. So, Ifa is to wisdom as elders are to youth. Right? Sometimes they say wisdom is wasted on the youth, right? Because um, sometimes they youth feel like they know more than the elder. You know, one way or the other, it's really uh, the level of respect that you have for an elder and the things that actually that have been imparted upon you that you truly give respect to those that surround you, right? Because, the you know, this one elder that told me one time, he was like, look, I remember this so uh, vividly. He said, the respect that you give to an elder is the respect that you will receive as an elder when you get to that state. And it's so true, you know, um, and it's important to realize that because one day you will be an elder, even if you are a youth. One day you will be, you know, um, far greater than what you sit or what you see, right? So it's always good to make sure that you pay homage to those that pay homage to this earth by being upon this earth for so long, right? That open up that doorway. That give us insight, hindsight, foresight, and clear sight. Because an elder is worth a million words. <laughs> a billion libraries, I would say. Right? Far greater than anything written. Because it's lived experience. Lived experience can never be outdone. Lived experience can never be outthought. A lived experience is what brings and manifests life into existence. Right? The more that we actually sit down and really listen to an elder... To what's really being said, a lot of times we miss or mistreat or, or overlook what an elder has to say. In this instance, we're talking about Ifa, because wisdom is to Ifa, or Ifa is to wisdom. Because what is Ifa? Ifa is that great body of wisdom of Alodamari. 
Um, it's even can be ventured to say that Ifa is the word of Aludamari. Because it's infinite in scope, as is uh, Aludamari, the quantifier or the owner of all existence. And to understand that <laughs> is to see and say a lot. Because when you say something is a quantifier, ah, akboato asuri guru fun existence, you're saying a lot. That, that says a lot. Silent wisdom, how are you? Uh, because when we say you seek to study, study is just that. To not only give, but also to receive and to receive and to give, right? Just as important as you give. Uh, so, ifa and wisdom are synonymous because when we think of ifa uh, rumila, ile ipin, Orumila is the witness to all existence, to all fates, to all things that are in existence. And as we pro, you know, we proceed in this life, as we go forward in this life, nothing can precede Ifa. I remember having a conversation with my Aluo, um, and that Aluo, my, my current Aluo in Habiba, um, understanding those things, how, how things move, how things develop, how things grow. How things awaken in so many different levels, right? Um, the, and the deeper that we go into ourselves, into what Ifa is and how we uh, open up to the blessings that have been laid before us. That's really when we say elder, we're talking about those blessings that have been laid before us, right? Those things that have been awakened before us. That's far greater than our knowledge and our wisdom. That's why... You know, before anything, it was like, hmm, if I has greater wisdom than I. So when if I speaks, I speak, if I speaks in, in volumes. As when we say an elder, right? An elder is, is beings and beings and beings of libraries. Because they've lived so much in their life. They've awakened so much in their life. There's no way around it. There's no way around seeking out that wisdom. Of, uh, of Ifa in our daily life. Even if it resists what our emotions um, want to receive. Because Ifa is the great body of wisdom. So we see, it sees greater than us. Um, and I think about that when I go to Ifa myself. You know, as I do at any given year, I always go to Ifa. Because Ifa opens up the doorway, not only for me, but for my family, my daughter, my future wife, whoever that may be. Also, the topic is um, Ifa is to wisdom. Uh, sorry, not wisdom. They, uh, the, if, uh, the topic is Ifa is to wisdom. As an elder is to the youth. Right? That is the topic. And why is that important to understand? In general, because there is no anything without an elder. Our elders, first and foremost, as I always say in Ifa, as our Isheshe, is our mother and our father. That's our first elders. That's the ones who take care of us and guide us and teach us and, and open the doorway and uh, lead us to a whole other position in life, right? Um, and we go into paying homage to them, even if they don't respect you for what you do. Even if they don't even like what you do. You know, even they're not even on board with what you think and how you've come to your own understanding in life, right? You still pay homage to that elder, those two elders, those first two elders of your life, because without those two elders, not your mother and your father, now, my father's deceased at this point, right? But I still pay homage to him. Um, but there's no way that I cannot pay homage to them, even if they didn't, even if they disrespected what I believed in and connected to. Because maybe for whatever reason that their their path led them to another place, led them to a place that they you know couldn't do or see or recognize what you do, right? Um. So my mother and my father, I pay homage to. 
This as I pay homage to their lineages because their lineages are just as important to uh, any, I, I can't recognize any Egun of anybody else. I can't propitiate any Egun before I even propitiate my own mother and father and my, my own Egungun. You know, those that came before me that opened up that pathway for me, that guided me, that taught me, that seek to show me many different things, even when they're not here. You know, my grandmother still teaches me to today. You know, my grandmother's grandmother's, my, my grandfather's grandfather's on both sides, my maternal and paternal, still teach me to this day. When I go to Egungun, I'm an Egungun priest or society. I'm part of that society. When I go to Egungun or Egun, I'm always constantly reminded of the blessings and the abundance that, that opened up because it's consistent. It's never just one aspect or another. It's consistent. These things awaken, not only for myself, but for many, many others that come after me. You know, uh, my daughter, when she has her children, that's who she pays homage to as well. Just by the fact that she pays, she would pay homage to her maternal and paternal. You know, um, and it's important to realize that because it's easy to get uh, eclectic and go all over the moon, but it's harder to really focus in on those that are really rooted in ourselves and who we are. And not just in DNA, but those those who are responsible for those blessings or abundance in our life, even if we never knew them, even if they were themselves, the mother and father, uh, rejected you. Without their lineages, you would not be here. Because you could have been easily aborted. You could have easily been thrown off the train, thrown out the way, you know, not even connected to it in any kind of way. You could have easily been not here. But they chose to, for you to be here. That's the, that's, the, that's the part that I would say is the best of the best. It's because, I uh, say, so you may never have known them, uh, but the DNA runs deep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And even beyond the DNA. Because epi uh, epigenetics speaks above our own cells holding more secrets than the DNA itself. Because that's the building, master builders in our body is our, our cells in our body. Right? Um, but that core of us. Just our mother and our father, our maternal, or no matter what order you put it in, paternal, maternal, you know, whatever order, doesn't matter. Because you're still talking about those two entities that without them both, because your mom couldn't create it you by herself without a sperm. Father could not create anything without the egg, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. None of those things could be um, brought forth without the collective understanding, no matter how it came to be, no matter how things came forth, if they didn't come together and commune in the way that they did, and then in whether they realized it or not, co-created you with Olodomari, <laughs> there will be no you. Billions and billions and billions of sperm could have just been wasted. Condom and, and whatever, right? I know that sounds nasty, but it's true. So we have to really think about that in a greater sense because who we are really works into our power of our ancestors. Because our ancestors are never to be disrespected in a greater sense because those same ancestors are the ones who uh, awaken within us so much. Right, they guide us to our physical destiny. So on one level, our ori is connected to our egun, our matern our paternal and maternal. In another way, um, we chose our ori before we came here. At the same time, they chose us. We couldn't have lived our destiny as we, we have sought to do because there was divination done before you got here to this earth and when you did that you open up that doorway you guide that doorway 
And you have to put that at bow, just like we're doing here on, on, in this realm, in the right place. You have to do that there too. And so when it's not done correctly, automatically these things fall short, right? Then we have to go through all kinds of different things to make sure that our destiny is well taken care of. Well taken care of. Right? Or reformed. So regardless of how we look at those things. So that's why I say, if I is to wisdom as our own elders are to the youth. Right? Because those elders are like beans and beans and beans of libraries. Because they hold all that we are and more. All that we will be and more. And that concept goes far deeper than just, you know, I look like my such and such or such and such look like me. To perpetuate or to continue a lineage, a lineage, <laughs> right, is going beyond just lust. Going beyond just, you know, it's like to bring a youth in the world, a child into the world, creates harmony for us and all of those ancestors that came before us, paternal and maternal. Because they get a chance to come back. They get a chance to awaken again. They get a chance to see again and teach again through the youth. And that's, again, that concept is one that is sorely lacking as a whole. When we don't pay attention to the words of our elders, everything falls apart. Right? Because we think we know greater than them. Even if they don't practice what we practice, even if they don't do what we do, if we think that we know greater than our elders, it doesn't mean that, hi, Ty Solo, how are you? Um, if we think you know more than those elders, meaning, doesn't mean that they have to practice what you practice. Like, I, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness like my mother and my father were, are. But it's not that system that I was following. I was following my, those lineages. It opened up the doorway that sought me out directly, clearly, oh, fully. Boy. It's those lineages that bring up insight, hindsight, foresight, and clear sight. It's those lineages that actually teach me every day in my life. Could not be or do anything that I seek and do and accomplish without them. Now, does that mean that the things that I seek out in my life are lost if I don't follow exactly what they follow? No. I don't know what's going on. hope we're not going through that again because it seems like it's, it's not allowing you to come up. I don't know why. I don't know. Uh, I think you have to put your uh, video on first and then... Since I don't know why that happens sometimes, but it humbles up like that. Um, yeah. So it's important. It's important to look at these things and see why. You know, why we um, seek to open up these doorways. Why do we seek to have a, a, a good... Uh, we cannot walk in the future without at least one foot in the past. Not even a foot, just, just understanding of what that meant. Because we're not reinventing the wheel. <laughs> we're not reinventing anything. We're only going through and connecting to... Um, uh, no, I was doing it again. I may have to take it off and put it back on. I know. It happens. Ah, but... And I say all of this, and I think of all of this, because... Um, 
This is going back through the Odu of the year for me. And <laughs> now clarity is, is the key to all understanding. Uh, did you get a chance to update? I did. I updated it before, but I don't know why. Every once in a while it does this. I don't know why it's not doing it now. It plays those roles as it's going to play them. You know what I mean? So I may just have to update it again and just... Well, we know what I did last time. I took it off of my uh, my phone and redid it. It got it's ridiculous for a time, time. You know, and I, I want to encourage everybody to go to my YouTube channel as well to subscribe there because I really want to, um, or just you know, follow it or whatever whatever that means. Um, subscribe there because uh, I want to start doing videos and interviews there as well. So just in case this stuff goes belly up, belly up, we can always go over there and keep things moving and grooving. You know, never get stuck to one place in space, right? Always keep it moving and grooving. Um, flexible and flowing. You can go live on YouTube too. I know, that's what I'm saying. I want to I wanna bring people over. You know what I mean? Um, in that way, because the more that I can do that, the more that I can kind of open up that doorway too. Um, because both platforms are really great. I re I like it. Uh, so I just want to be maybe piggyback off of one way or the other. One time this one, one time that one. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. The more spaces you're in, the more people you get. More, exactly. More you can reach. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, cop, uh, podcast style things that I think I'm going to do. I just need to talk to a few people and see how I can do that a little better. Because I really want to do that in a way that makes sense. I don't know what's going on today. I don't know if it's going to be up and mobile. Yep. Because um, it's not letting nobody up. And, but yeah, so that's that's where it's like, that's really, really important. Really, extremely important. Um, why even start the lives in the first place? Is to really go into intricacies of Ifa. And helping people to see it, to understand it. To go into it, to really see it for what it is. Um, bearing root to the truth of the light and wisdom of Ifa. Uh, I know I always talk about those same things. Uh, I know those those things I always talk about in a greater sense. Um, because when going into Ifa, at any stage, it is imperative to study. Um, I don't know in the day and age that we're now with books, and I love books, again, I'm a bibliophile, but in this day and age of, ah, I love books, I love to study, uh, but books are very, 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 very limiting, especially to an oral tradition extremely limiting and actually throws you off in a lot of ways if you're only looking at things from one perspective like there's a lot of authors that aren't even an initiate so they're giving you information that just regurgitated not really lived or understood um and then there's information that is way over the top way over your head because it's just not they're not explaining they, it's like uh, they're assuming that you know certain things right um in a lot of ways, and you know, I was so busy today, it's crazy. I've been ripping and running and ripping and rolling for the last few. Uh, and I thank all of you that have definitely come through. Beating is uh, like just seeing the tip of the iceberg out of the water. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But it goes deep too, because you can always study about something that you may not have any understanding of. Like I'm, I'm reading a book about the Sikhs. So does that mean I'm gonna go be, become a Sikh tomorrow? No. That just means I can respect that culture and I can see where they're coming from. So when I encounter someone that is a Sikh, I can understand it a little bit better than I did before. All right. And I think that's really what reading guides you is to give you a deeper understanding of what cultures and things are around you. So when you do encounter somebody and talk to somebody, you're able to see it, you know, a little clearer, maybe than um, others may have. You know, that, you know, that could be the point of connection for somebody. That could be the insight that, that leads you down a road to deal with people, to deal with things. Um, and I think that's important in, in general because the more that we are able to like, subscribe, share, 
drop some diamonds, drop some pearls, drop some things and worlds. <laughs> but, you know, it's like understanding those things, building with those things, aiding to read and study and to guide into many different aspects. Then you start to see the connections. Oh, wait a minute. That's also blah, blah, blah. Oh, this, this, such, 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 such. You know, um, books are as important to an oral tradition. Um, but at the same time, when you deal with an oral tradition, it is so much that is embedded within it. You really have to listen to what it's saying because then it's, it's so many layers. And those layers reveal themselves as you deeper and deeper and deeper you go into it, the more layers that it opens up. Um, and I think it's important really to look at those things in that perspective. Um, it's important to even realize why and where and how these things exist in the context of uh, the whole. Um, like I had uh, maybe about a year ago, somebody, he, he just came back um, got in contact with me recently. Uh, and you know, not going into any of their business. I don't do all of that. I don't tell people's business. Uh, but it was, it was interesting because books can only take you so far. It cannot give you the uh, lived experience. No, it can't. It, yes and no. It gives you the lived experience of that author and that publisher, right? What they allow them to write and not write. Um, the lived experience, though, to deal with that elder is something different. And even dealing with someone that has done it, like there are, I remember when I first got initiated to Ifai and I was talking to my Luo and we were at his father's compound. His father has, has since uh, been transitioned from that point, at that point. Um, so he was taking care of his father's compound. But as we start going, and looking and, and you know, I was looking around uh, the compound and he was like, you know, look at all of these rooms. These rooms are all there for a specific reason, right? There were people studying verses of Ifa. There was, it was like a university, for real. Uh, people studying verses of Ifa, people studying medicines, people studying, you know, all aspects of this this culture and things like that. And it's, it was really intense. It was on um, Lagos Island. And it was it was really intense to see that. But there was youth there that were working because they didn't have the money to be initiated. That's what he said. He made the point to say that, you know, these, these youth that are, that know a whole lot more than you because they haven't even been, um, initiated yet, but they're, they're helping, they're involved, they're, uh, they're training all every step of the way. So the more that they work and the more that they're working off this, this thing, then they're able to go in and be initiated soon, you know? So there's a lot of things that they know that, that, I didn't know because I was just getting initiated at the time, you know, and it, you know, it, it hit me then, but it's hitting me more now because I've all, I encountered youth that had been studying or been initiated since they was four or whatever, right? Or elders who's have been initiated since they was four. Um, and I think, and I, you know, when I, when I, when I think about it, rather, I always look back and think about the youth that was like, <laughs> he has headphones and he was bumping hip hop. Right? He was bumping, you know, things that I knew and connected to as a youth, right? Even old, it was old school too, what he was pumping too. I was like, oh, what? Like, but in the midst of all of this, this wisdom and things like that, that was surrounded with him. And obviously clearly he was, he was in the middle of everything, just learning and, and doing it, whatever, right? And I, I remember seeing these, uh, you know, this very simple Ogun shrines or Eshu shrines or on and on and on, all these different places and spaces, very simple. But the years and years and years and decades and decades of, of a bowl that's been placed on there, and you can just see it just pop, 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 pop. it was like, wow, that, that's what was really intense to me. Um, and really to see these things and just hear these things and just be really like going from room to room and, and looking at all these, these, uh, elders and then encountering, um, that elder, uh, that gave, you know, every time I see him, he gave me so much insight into my Odu. Um, and that's what's humbling, right? Because we always think we know more than an elder, but once we, in the midst of an elder, then we started, we had to sit back and like, 
right? Because a lot of times those things get lost. And so it's interesting because when, uh, that's why I say sometimes, you know, I remember, who was that? Was my grandmother or somebody? I forget who said that. Maybe it was my grandma. Yeah. But wisdom is wasted on the youth. I know I said that before, but it's true. Because sometimes when wisdom is presented to a youth, depending on the background, depending on what's going on, depending on how, a lot of different things. But wisdom is generally like, ah, you know, I got the internet, I got this, I got blah, 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 right? Like, there's experience, there's wisdom that you go through, there's, there's experience that you go through, and then you're able to apply it to your wisdom, to your daily life. Yeah, right. Uh, and then there is um, wisdom shared from elders. That when you gain that wisdom, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Because they've gone through so many phases and so many decades and so many things that you couldn't even fathom. Right? And looking at their elders, they were, they were looking at their elders and elders, elders. Um, and then when they've done that, and they see them it's like when you they you can see the frustration on their eyes sometimes when they're trying to impart something to a youth and then they're like okay you'll learn keep living right and then you keep stepping and then but to see it and then to realize it and then to go through it and then to, to see it again like you're constantly going through these cycles and that's the point of even being here on this earth is going through these cycles of learning and unlearning, learning and unlearning, learning and then building off the things that you've learned and then realizing that there's so much more in that, that situation and you learn again, you build again, All right? So the more that one learns and develops and grows in himself, if they're not imparting that to others, whether they're hearing it or not, then it's a waste of your time. Because that's the point of learning something is to impart it upon someone else. Now, you don't just give things away. You don't just throw it away, right? You, the deeper knowledge, the deeper things, the deeper insights and and, and understandings is something that um, when the person's really ready, they'll be ready. That's why anybody comes for a Ifa divination, he's like, oh, I don't have it right now. I'll do this or da, da, da. When you're ready. When you're ready, because that not seeking to push anything on anybody, because if I is a great body of wisdom, not me, you know, I, I am a say when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Yeah, for certain, for certain, because you know when we think about that in general, our understanding, our our thought process, and taking in things. And understanding even our own Ori Inu is a process. That's why we go through these things. That's why there is an Esentaye, you know, when a child is first born. That's why these things happen in a certain kind of way. Because without it, there's not a remembering, remembering, taking, going back and putting these members back together, right? And re engaging, re legar. You know, relinking, re-yoking back to a source greater than self, right? That is the Ori Inu. Until you can really delve into that deeper, if all those other things are irrelevant in any tradition, but definitely within this one. Uh, you once said, I know myself until now, uh, that for me it was powerful. And it's true because, you know, we I know myself up to this point. My experiences that I've had up to this point, the things that I've dealt with at this point, it's been a lot, but not nowhere near an elder. <laughs> and I've experienced it sometimes even more than the elder, but I still haven't learned all more than the elder because they've been here longer. You know? And so that's the humility that comes into play. We are constantly learning about ourselves, uh, shifting and uh, evolving. Exactly. 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 Um, and I think that's important to realize too, because the more that we are able to delve into those aspects of ourselves, 
uh, the more we are able to let go of a lot of the things that we attach ourselves to or hold on to. Like um, I remember one time somebody was holding on to the check the the, the neck of uh, a cuckoo idea just like this. Just, ah, ah, ah. Like it was like use up. <laughs> You don't want it to pass before you do what you got to do, you know? So, but it was so much built up stuff that you, sometimes you don't want to let go. You got to let go. So that it can go. So they can transition. So that it can move forward. So that things can flow. Um, and that's what that, uh, that verse that I said at the beginning of this uh, live I was talking about a few verses, but that, that first one that I always do, Akbon Biako, Akko Biako, that one, right? And that verse in uh it comes from Oshika Meji or Ezjogbe. And it really talks about how, you know, the no matter what you do in life, right, you stay rooted in Olodumari, you stay rooted in Ifa, you stay rooted in your Ori Inu. These are things that's gonna hold you the greatest. Basically, that's what it's talking about, right? Because in those IFA enterprises, once we join a Rumila in IFA enterprises, there's nothing that we can accomplish, you know, because that envision that brings forth to us, one thing begets another, another opens up the door to another, right? And that's what that verse is really talking about. It's how uh, we open up that doorway from one state to another state, to another state, to another state, right? Because when it's talking about wealth, Ajay, then it's talking about those great things that are coming because of the Ifa enterprises that you've enjoyed. You've enjoyed a partner with Ifa or Rumila. There's nothing but greatness that can come from it. Nothing. <laughs> right? Um, and the more that you enjoy yourself, and the more that you awaken yourself, and the more that you delve into those things, there's nothing that can be not be done. And that's where those things come into play. Right? The more that you're able to understand these things greater, the more that you're able to open up and develop these things, even in gain more insight into those things. Right? Awaken these things. And so during joining that uh Ifa Enterprises, in, in a you know, those enterprises are partnering with Orumila, partnering with Ifa, awaken so much more in our life. <laughs> so much more in our life. Right. Um, and then once we enjoy these things, once we awaken these things, our things cannot be cannot flow in when we are closed. Exactly. If your if, if your cup is too full, you can never gain more insight. Right. If your cup is too full, there's no way that we can um, awaken any further than what we have. It's impossible. Um. Because our, our cup is full. Can't fit anything else in there. Even like the rim that's just above it. that It's going to spill over. Right? Um, but that verse is so powerful because when that wealth comes, it attracts a good mate. That mate attracts, you know, good, beautiful children. Those children attract that good house, a home, that, that blessing of our lives. And that house attracts, you know, you know, the, these blessings, success, all the stuff that's, that's flourishing and flowing for us. You know, Ifa Enterprises, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> you know, Ifa Enterprises, we are able to awaken greater, able to see f more. Uh, let's get those diamonds and, and coins up. Get these things flourishing and flowing. Uh, but those Ifa enterprises that we when we partner with a roommate line, we partner with Ifa, there's nothing that we can't accomplish. That's that's that verse is I love that verse. I love that verse so much because I say I say it every day when I get up in the morning and I open up my Ifa. When I get up after I do a live, I go to sleep. I try to. If I don't have work to do, there's a lot of work. Um I always seek to go down and go through it because um, those are the things that actually open up that doorway for me far greater than anything that can be done, you know?
Because the more that we seek to do it, the more that these things seek to awaken. The more that we seek to awaken it, the more these things seem to flow. Far greater than ourselves. And that's the beautiful part of it. It's greater than us. That's why I say that the, the topic is, Ifa is to wisdom as an elder is to the youth. And I'm saying a lot. Because they're really able to, uh, to take that in fully. Thank you. You're really able to awaken that pathway in even more intensely. Right? Share, like, subscribe. I appreciate people coming in. Uh, definitely feel free. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel free to um, also. One day I'll learn how to do this in another way. Uh, feel free to contribute to um, cash out or whatever modality that you would like to work it through. Um, but so those are the things that are really important. You know, we begin to fully understand what that means, how that focuses, what we're doing in our life, how that builds up in our life. If you don't have a, well, I'm, I'm going to say this countless times over and over and over again. If you don't have a picture, it's a series of bunch of numbers. Sorry, you're going to be excommunicado. Because right, we're not doing with trolls or anything like that. So that's just what's going down. Thank you so far, y'all. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. I can't. We're talking about Syria. I got to say that. Just. Um, you know what I mean? So, and I think that's really what we get down to the crux of the crooks. Because the more that we're able to see, the more we're able to have a better understanding of what we do and how we connect. Um, again, I want folks to, to go over to the YouTube channel as well, because it's important to, <laughs> important to uh, connect to or build with or flow in and around. Um, a lot of stuff I got when I do the highlights and uh, different bits and, and parts of the um, of the live. Um, I also put it on YouTube. So if you don't see it on here, you'll see it on YouTube. Um, I like to do that just because it opens up the doorway a little bit better. And it gives like, a, um, you know, it'll last longer on YouTube and whatever else. So uh mics and all that stuff i guess coming soon um you know better ways to adjust and, and audio and all that good stuff but those are things that are really important um when we speak of wisdom that's why we you know we speak of okmon edaijo iwakbale so that wisdom justice and good character um because when a, a youth thinks they know greater than an elder or when we think that we know greater than Ifa, a great body of wisdom, um, of Alodamadi, you know, we'll learn. We'll learn one way or the other. And it's beautiful to in in its entirety. Um and the more that we are able to do that, the more we're centered in the things that we have to accomplish in our life. Uh, so far, I don't know what's going on with it. Then it's not allowing me to bring anybody up right now. I don't know what's what's going down with that. Sometimes they let me, sometimes they don't. That's why, I, like I said, YouTube, I think, is a little bit easier. Oh, is it going now? I don't know why I'm here. Right? I don't know if it's going to let you up or not, but I, everybody I've tried to bring up, they it hasn't allowed them to. So if it does, <laughs> cool, then we can start that road and discussion again. Um, and that's why the root of discussion is so important. Because we can have a really good understanding and, and develop a dialogue um, in more ways than one. Which I think is important. Because the more that we are able to do that, the more um, things we're able to engage and connect to. Made it up. I don't know if he, she's all the way up, though. I don't think you can hear me. No, I can't hear. It's not even... So when I see it right now, I'm only seeing like the wheel of eternity. <laughs> It's going around and around, circle, circle. I can't hear at all. Nope. So I, I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's not letting me do it. So I may have to just take it off again and put it up there again. And then go for it. Um, so with those, 
that are here. I do seek Ifa divination. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Those who seek it, definitely feel free to do it. Um, I would also say those who seek Ifa Bigba, to you have to root yourself in with with the messages that comes up, and you really have to uh, listen to what Ifa has to say. Um, and then those things will be so much clearer. And it, over time too, not just uh, first and foremost over time. Ah, Sinia, uh, I don't know what's going on. I would pull you up, but it's not allowing anybody to come up. I definitely can't hear you. I need to have more support for all its creators. Yeah, exactly. It really does. It really does. Um, but, you know, anytime you do anything like camaraderie and you're not arguing and screaming and hollering and carrying on, um, they're not going to be promoted like that. Uh, you know, it is what it is, but that's, that's what I, I generally see. You see, the most people with all of the, the wolf and bull, you know, they'll be pulled into a lot of different things. So, it is what it is. Um, you know, I know which is the uh, absolute shame, but we all know what's that, what's what. Yeah, exactly. Because some things we, we get, sometimes we don't. Sometimes things come up and sometimes they don't. So, that's the that's the really the point of this. Um, so I may not be on here too too long because I was hoping to have some dialogues today, but um, definitely want folks to come through. Uh, definitely like, subscribe, follow, share, flowers, um, come through, support, 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 so that I can actually bring forth a lot more to you, and that's the most important part. Uh, the more that you support, the more that we're able to open it up. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, but those are things that I think are, are really important too, because when we start to uh, evaluate, that's why I went through linguistics is Ifa yesterday. Um, that's why I, I, I started with that because it's so important because linguistics is that. Linguistics is Ifa, you know, how we communicate. Um, the meaning, the syntax, the the understanding, the uh, the formation of of thoughts and words and actions and deeds that are, are connected to us, um, the seen and unseen, known and unknown, spoken and unspoken, um, and because of that, the the deeper the uh, the understanding that we seek to obtain is the deeper that we study, uh, because there is no absolute space and place. Um, our Ori Inu is the ultimate place. And the elders that we connect to for that is the way that you gain greater access to it by studying. Studying is key, right? You do the reading, you get the Ebo, the messages and all that stuff in, in the divination, and then the Ebo comes, and the Ebo will kick your butt. It surely will, without question. And then once you get through that, things start even out, things start to flow, then it becomes really nice. You know, because then now that hurdle may not be completely uh, uplifted and awakened and shaken and cleansed at that point, but it's constantly moving and grooving, constantly making these things awaken a little deeper and a little deeper and a little deeper and a little deeper. You know, um, what's today? The, what is today's date? Is today the 6th? Yeah, I was knee deep in a grove at this time. <laughs> it's so a trip because just to look back at that time, hmm, there's so much going on. There's so much information. And I'm still deciphering a lot of things that I, I went through in that grove. I mean, obviously, I can't speak about what, what happened in the grove, but that was an experience of a lifetime that can never be back. Seventh here. Uh, it's seven fifty a.m. Oh, okay, oh seven fifty. Okay, there's about to be seventh in a minute. It's like uh eleven forty nine p.m. Um here. So you know eventually, <laughs> uh because no dialogue, I may get off a little bit. Uh, but that is the mode in Roshan. Um, 
And so that's what we, we try to intensify or, or look to or build with in this way. Um, I'm going to bring in some, um, I'm going to consecrate some waist beads soon for Ifa and some other things coming up soon. Um, the white coral and things like that as well. Oh yeah, TikTok is hater, most definitely. But you know, it's a platform. I, any of these platforms that I get on, I think I'm gonna try to get on a lot of other platforms as well, just so that I could um, have discussions with people in other places to build up those same um, spaces, like in in Instagram or TikTok or uh, YouTube or Facebook. Facebook has actually helped me through all of the pandemic. That's what kept me kosher in the pandemic. Um, and so. That's what I would say. But anybody want to comment specifically about the things I've been speaking about? That's what I want to get into a dialogue in that way. Comment about the the things I was speaking about the the um, the topic of today, which is Ifa is to wisdom as an elder is to the youth. Um, so anybody want to comment on that specifically, and then we can kind of go forward because I've been speaking a lot and I want to get some kind of, um, you know, connection to folks in that way. So Ty Solo, Child of Wisdom, Ted, whoever's on here, uh, so, so anybody that, that's on here that would like to comment, because I can't bring anybody up now. I don't know why, but I can't. Um, so if you want to comment on those things or build up in any way, definitely feel free to as I am going on um and why am I looking at these topics in that way why am I going into them in that way uh because it's really good to have a good understanding of what if I is um again I always go back to that it's not hocus pocus you know when we think of wisdom wisdom is gained but also wisdom is internalized and made to understand what it is that we seek to do. It feels like uh, it means a youth knows a lot innately, but wisdom is how that knowledge is applied. Oh, for certain, for certain, for certain. I agree with that, couldn't agree with that more because I, I think with those elders, when they said that to me, wisdom is wasted on the youth, what that meant, I, I you know, I, I think about that every time I heard that as a youth and now as an adult. Right. Um, and I think what that was primarily trying to say is that that was saying rather, uh, I grew up around old heads, I respect my elders, of course, one billion percent, infinite percent. Um me too though, I did. I grew I grew up a lot around a lot of elders and spoke to a lot of elders and would you know, really was trying to be underneath their armpit to listen to what was going down. You know, today would just be pushing me away. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, because that's how you learn. That's how you, you know, you get into the mix. Um, and I think that's where those things begin to grow. And not pushing those youth away. To allow them to come in and to hear. You know, because why would you speak things in, you know, that you couldn't speak in front of a youth, right? Unless it was something obviously big, you know, business or, or something else. But even then, helping that youth to know what it is that they were to gain, you know, by doing certain things, by looking in a certain way, by uh, connecting to certain people in certain ways, you know, by the discussions and how do you discuss things with people, how you develop these relationships with people. It's important to understand. And that's one, one of the main things I really appreciate about my father is that, um, because I'm coming up to that two-year process with him as well, <laughs> him transitioning, um, was that he talked to me as an adult even when I was a youth, right? So when I went to school, I I could talk to that teacher. I could talk to those people or those other grown-ups that are around me because it was a, it was a blessing, you know? It was a blessing to do that because then you can really get some insight on things or avoid certain things. Um, and also because, uh, those elders are the ones who aid you. I think to speak and listen to the youth is to know how to approach them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because the more that 
they listen, and the more that you listen, the more you gain on a regular basis. That's a given. If I will humble you, no doubt. Though I mean, uh, I just wouldn't play around with my uh, destiny or the tradition. Akin to an elder. Akin to an elder. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because, uh, you know, the more that you learn, the more that you actually gain. That even if you don't get it in that particular moment, like I was talking about being in the grove and coming out of the grove and then it was just being way overwhelmed, even the stuff that could be, uh, so I'm open to learning from as much as I, as much as they can learn from me. Uh, okay. So when I, I said my children have taught me so much, I fear, but without any doubt, without any doubt, my, my daughter has definitely taught me a whole lot. Uh, because being able to speak about things or deal with things in a way is is a blessing in itself, right? Because um, the more that we can listen, the more that actually we can gain, right? Um, and I think that's also important. As any elder really does, if you really listen to an elder or, or there with an elder, anybody who's really been around a lot of elders growing up um, can attest to that they're listening to you hearing you fumble hearing you speak intelligently speak, hearing you go through all these things mm -hmm. uh, teaches us to learn from others yeah exactly because they've already gone through a lot of the challenges and things that you've gone through or seen so when you hear them instead of thinking past them because you think you know more Really hear them, listen to them. And I think that's the more important part of it because the more that you listen, the more that you gain. Um, I know sometimes when I'm sitting with my, my Luo, and it's last time we were really sitting down, it's, it's a pleasure because um, A, it's a good dialogue, and B, just the insight that comes forth sometimes that um, in none of my questions really would bring out, right? Because he's really wanting me to have a deeper understanding of a lot of different things and aiding me in that process, right? Um, and sometimes <laughs> I'm a little slow uh, because I'm trying to take it all in at one time. What that makes me think of, though, is as a youth, sometimes we want to just, I want it all right now. Right now may not be the time to have that all. Because you wouldn't understand it or, or even respect it. Because you don't have the, the experience of all these other things that you have to go through, too, to have an understanding of it. But when you don't listen to an elder, automatically those things become havoc. Because now you're saying that these things of that elder don't matter and that's not real they matter uh, even if it, they're they're teaching you what not to do by their own actions right um and i think that's also a really good understanding too is that to hear is one thing but to listen is to pay attention you know, um, and it's interesting because to when I when I heard that to listen is to pay attention. To hear, it's just you, know, you can hear something. It doesn't mean you've internalized it. It could go in one ear and come out the other. But to listen, meaning it takes time, energy, and effort to listen. to really pay attention to the nuances of what's being said and how it's said and how it's developed and how it's opening up. That's why elders sometimes talk very slowly because there's so much to be said, but it doesn't have to all be said at one time. Ty Solo, you wanna chime in on that? You said true. No. 
So, in in that respect, I think it's it's also really important to see how you know we actually fit into the mix of what we're doing. Now, I may have read a lot of books and reread them. We read them again. Listening and hearing are two different things. Yeah, most definitely. Listening and hearing is two different, distinctly two different things. Um, and that's why I like when people do engage and ask questions. Um, really hearing, listening to the to the to the dialogue though. Bubble push one is now. In League D four, what? <laughs> uh, it says Babo Puesa we fuck with it now in League D four. I don't know what that means. Um But that's you know, some of the things that I would say when we are really able to open up that dialogue in a way. Um with ourselves. And then not only being in our own head, but really able to experience those things by asking questions or inquiring or connecting to other people. So I have been uh, quiet this, this school morning and I'm doing the mom thing. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's, at, it's midnight here, so I know it's like eight, nine in the morning there. So everybody's on that tip. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and yeah, you know, it just even being on these lives in a lot of ways, to hear and to connect, to build, to to grow, with folks in this this path, this capacity, um, is important because when we do so, we relinquishing our ego to hear, to to actually listen to what was what was being said, to hear time is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Because time is a fourth dimension, right? So everything is, is relative to time or to that space. You can't have space without the time. You can't have time without space. In our, how we live our life, how we see things, right? There's many things that don't do that in relationship to it. Um, because at the, the most intricate of details, the most quantifying of, of details, um, there are no there's no time but our bodies our minds is physical things that we, we we are attached to are constantly moving and grooving never stops it's interesting how our mind always goes back and thinks and reminisces and connects and builds these other ideals that something that may have been Completely different than what we how we remember it, right? And I think that's also important. The more that we can actually listen to and see, is the more we can actually understand and like flow forward with. You know, it's important. It's highly important. Self reflection. This year also, I'll be forty eight years old. Four eight twelve three. As you know. <laughs> You know, and so it's uh, because when we um, open up to those things and we're able to see it in a different way, just looking back at our own life. I remember one live, somebody was saying, I don't know if I could bring anything to the table. Everybody has something to bring to the table. Now, you may not be comfortable with saying not in the live, but everybody thinks has something to bring to the table because you lived, right? Your experience is, is completely different than mine. Just on GP, even if we live near each other, surrounding each other, as you have yours, right? And so I'm going to tell you again, folks, if you don't have a, a name and no there's no picture or something, it's going to be gone uh, because 
I'm really trying to root out all the trolls and, and silly stuff. Because sometimes, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I go in and I, like somebody says something, oh, I really want to know more about XYZ. And it's a troll. And then that troll comes in and be like, uh, so it's like, ah, you've been flagged for such and such. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Oh, you're a troll. Got you. Understandable. <laughs> you know? That's why when I'm looking down, I'm looking down at these comments and it's like, okay, troll, 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 troll. And I'm going back into something else. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think the youth are good for elders. Uh, their questions help the elder look at, at how much they know. And that sometimes not even, yeah, that, that's very true. And even ways of thinking that they may not even thought about their situation that they dealt with in their life. Those questions, I think, would really push you to, to understand it better. That's why youth is so important. That's why having youth is so important. That cycle of a youth is so, for, so much greater. So important. You know, when I hear people say, oh, I don't want children. Oh, you're missing out on a lot. And then when I hear uh, folks who've gone through certain things in their life without children, without marriage, without anything, then it's just like you can see the difference in their eyes. It's like, I, I don't have these. I've had experiences, but these set of experiences that I miss now. You're not really worried, not even understanding of why I missed them, you know? Because those things that we were striving after in that whole experience that we have, sometimes, I mean, they don't uh, look tired. Yeah, <laughs> not just tired, it's just that, you know, those, you know, yeah, I know, I know you're joking. But those, those kinds of things that we take for granted, that we gain from a, from a child, Sometimes it's not your own child, you know, sometimes it's a one that you've adopted or one that you connected to, but those connections with the, with the child or the children that you have really push you, you know, would I have come to Ifa if it wasn't for my daughter? Probably so. That's my destiny. That's what I'm supposed to do. But it came directly into my life because it was like, nope. Check this out on me. This is what you about to do. <laughs> you know? And it's not even about uh, me trying to... Trying to, like, overthink or over-exaggerate or over anything. Those things are really what comes in. And just like this, bah, 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 bah. Learning how to adjust and flex. Be flexible. Learning how to really listen to somebody. That may that really wants to know genuinely. That's a big one for me. Do you know what I mean? Because when somebody is able to really go in and ask and do and see and really honest questions. Because I know for a fact when I was a youth, hey now, I asked so many freaking questions. Remember my oh thank you. So if I uh uh I I know for a fact that every time that I connected with a youth. I mean, can I, when I was younger, and like my, I remember Mrs. Hatchet, I think her name was, my third grade teacher, the third third grade teacher. You ask too many questions. And it's like, can you? Can I ask, is it possible? That's why I asked her one time, you know, a little smart aleck, whatever. But is it possible to ask too many questions? And I know as a teacher too, being in a classroom, sometimes it could be overwhelming too for a teacher because you're trying to manage these children and get things moving and grooving and, you know, you're battling this and doing this and doing that. So I know that that's also a part of it, but I was so curious about everything. Why? Um, when? How? Why does this apply to me at this point? Where does this go into this point? Where does this go, you know, what does this mean if I do this such and such? What do you mean I'm not smart just because I don't approach it like they approach it? What do you mean that this is such and such? How does that work? You know, what does that mean? But that that goes back to my pop, my 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 father. I say pops, he didn't like me to call him pops. Um, going back to my father and saying, you know, asking these same questions. And then him having to really adjust and think about it. Or him 
bombard me with a bunch of inf information that I, I didn't really get at that time. But I think that's that's the, the bulk of it, right? When we don't get it, it's because we're not meant to get it specifically maybe at that time. You know, maybe not at this time. That's supposed to be the thing that we're going to get. Maybe it's for a later time, maybe for, uh, for other other things, you know, that um, that opens up to us. Um, it's like reflecting about that. Uh, the information that in the grove or from elders or from my father, or from my mom, or from whoever else, you know, grandmother, uh, great aunts, anybody that I encountered, even not physically sometimes, sometimes just spiritually encountered. Egg Bay. Um, that's given far greater insight than a lot of things. And it's really interesting to, to, to think about that in a greater sense because we discount a lot of things in our lives, knowingly, unknowingly, just based off of who and what we seek out. That's not what I'm seeking right now. I can't hear that. But that may be the thing that actually helps you to seek it greater. You know, that's why I read and study on so many things. They're like, oh, wait a minute. This sounds just like what I was just... Because there's no, there's no, there's no coincidence in what you pick up to read. That's why, you know, I know I was talking to one of the, um, the librarians at Oakland Public Library. Oh, shout out to them. Because I always, I'm, I go in there and I, it's like, I know that place backwards and forwards. <laughs> right? New book coming. Oh, cool. You know, because like, um, or even uh, Books Inc., now let me meet another place that I, I go into. And there's a book actually I'm gonna get into soon. Um dealing with Sunny Rollins, I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking about really soon from them. Um and I think that I, I you know it, it's that when you're attracted to a book, it's like you're in, when you're attracted to an elder or somebody, a teacher in general that is really been able to open up something for you on any level. Um, and you take it in in a way that it makes it like real for you. Then it, it, it aids you, it guides you, it uh, awakens you to helping you to see things maybe a little bit different than you would have ordinarily, right? Maybe it helps you to, to uh, press forward an idea like I was studying because you know I'm always looking up and studying and looking at a binary system because that's what if is if is a binary system so I'm always looking for those things and different things that I study and then looking how people relate and connect and build and grow and do with things in the way that they do it right because it helps me to understand it from different other perspectives what does that mean how does that look how does that flow where is that coming from why is that coming from that area? You know, and it's not question, just a question. It's more so like, how can I internalize that and use that in my life? Or is that worthy of, of something I, I want to use into my life? Maybe it's something I just need to, I needed to hear so that I could go off on it and really start to delve into other things. Because everything that we are, we're not meant to know everything on this earth because we're here for a time. In a time that we're here for, we're here to gain and develop in those things that we seek to accomplish, right? Uh, because it, that's why we go into those things in general, because we seek to have a greater understanding of what is it that's coming forward in our life um, and why it opens up to us in that way, because our ori has guided us there. Our ori inu guides us or puts us into these positions, these places and spaces. Like I was talking about earlier, that is our first uh, reality of wisdom is through our ori inu. How we engage and look at the world. You ever see an uh, a infant kind of really looking at everything? You know, their eyes are just coming into balance, right? They're really looking, like toddlers are really looking and, and trying to express things that they don't know how to express yet, but they they know it because they're trying to, to gain access to it and, and see why and how these things are working and moving. Language. How children engage and deal with language, 
you know, regurgitate things and say things and say, okay, how did that react? How did that move? How did that grow? How did that help me to understand that a little bit better? When I said this, people laughed. Okay, I want to say that again. And when I said this, people came in and did X, Y, and Z. Maybe I can do it this way. Maybe I can do it that way. Maybe they those things can aid me when I do uh, when I have a deeper understanding of it. You know, and I, I I always think about that because the more that we are able to listen and watch, the more we're able to gain. Right, that's why I like to engage in these this, these type of forums because, you know, questions. There's, there is no bad question unless it's coming from a place of malice. There's no bad questions because, anytime you question something or asking a question, you're asking your, out of yourself. So when someone is disrespectful in a question, they're actually being disrespectful to themselves. Um. So questioning something is you can question something or you can you can really ask a genuine question to listen, to understand. So that you can come back with a uh maybe another way of another question or another way of looking at things and say, okay, if this is what you mean, then this is how I want to understand that a little better. What what is it that you mean by that? How does that look? You know, or, or are we just saying something so that we can be heard? You know, that's the difference again. We go back to the same thing. Are we hearing something? Or are we just, are we really truly listening to comprehend exactly? To comprehend, to uh, awakening or to uh, enlist or enliven our own lives? To delve deeper into those questions that we've had since the youth that maybe have not been answered in the way and satisfactory that to our own satisfaction right um and i think that's that's really where the the crooks of the crooks comes from right that that crossroad that we come to in our lives in many different phases uh, so what's that 7 14 21 28 35 uh, 42, 49. So me going into that seventh iteration or seventh phase of my life, going into 48, right? Because 49 is that, is that next phase, right? But it's not an ending. It's more of a beginning because our bodies rejuvenate every seven years. That's what, that's my point. That's what I'm talking about. And the more that we are able to open those doors to rejuvenating in that seventh year, that, that next phase of things consistently. All we doing to what our bodies need to rejuvenate and to advance to the next level, or are we only, and I say we because I always include myself in these things consistently, are we just perpetuating the same thing over and over and over and over and over again in a different way from a different generation? Um, what does D4 mean? It says league D4. I don't know what that means. Um, but that's, that's like, I remember hearing someone say you are as old as you, not just believe you are. But as your seeking is, that, that tripped me out when I heard that. You're as old as how much you seek. I don't have any ailments or anything like that or blood pressure or any diabetes. I don't have none of that. Um, but I walk everywhere too. I walk everywhere, I, I, you know, um, 
you know, I have to always be conscious of, you know, certain things, how I move and groove. Um, so when I cannot walk on on a concrete, I'm I'm a walking in some grass or whatever because I know it's easier on the joints and da 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 da, right? Um, but it's like when I'm coming to this point in my life, and I think men are because men, uh, come into a phase of their life uh, in a certain path when they come closer to that seventh phase. Um, because, you know, face it, women, when they're younger, they, they, they are, their bodies, um, mature quicker because they have to, right? Because they, you know, they're, they're dealing with things, they're, they're advancing things or, or connecting to things that our, our body, that they have to be quicker to. So that certain phase in their life they're not going to be able to produce anymore, right? And I, I only can think about how how what what the reality of that is. Like they have a finite amount of eggs in their system, and so when they get into that phase, it is a different phase for them than it is for a male, obviously, right? Um, so I only can speak of for uh, from a male's perspective, and then when doing that though. When thinking about these things from the, this perspective, at going on forty eight, it is exciting. You know, opening up that doorway and saying, "I'm not these other things anymore," and that's a good thing. I'm happy that I'm not. I really try to open up that doorway in a way that makes sense. To me, it may not make sense to others, but it's a beautiful time for me. I'm not worried anymore. I don't think I will ever was definitely not in my thirties, and you know, in these forties, were really worried about folks. But it's like more so running and running and running. It probably has a lot to do also with um, I'm so active working for self. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, when you work for yourself, it's, it's in many different capacities, you know, you're responsible for everything. Um, and so I may talk about things in a certain way, but even if you're obviously working for others, you're still responsible for a lot, clearly, right? Um, and I think more so than not, when getting here, I don't have to ever prove anything to anybody. That doesn't mean I don't take care of my health. That doesn't mean I don't, you know, I let things, you know, move in certain ways. I, of course, there's self responsibility. Um, but I don't have to engage with things I don't want to. I don't have to um, accept everything that comes my way. Certain things will be whatever. And then certain things will not. Right? Um, but certain things that we seek to do those things with are not always what, you know, comes forth for us in a greater sense, right? So for me, again, coming from, I always say me, because that is the only thing that I personally can control is myself. That's the only thing that I can truly understand from a greater perspective is when I am able to really assess many aspects of self without allowing it to over arch anything or anyone else. Right, because we have these separate universes that we are consistently, you know, running on our own time, running in our own mind, flowing from one state to a higher late, right, and then moving to this thing that is, you know, whatever to us, and why, you know, 
um, yeah. So forties, love them, love them. Late thirties, early forties. So, but but my thirty, when I was thirty, that's when my daughter came. You know, so that's when she was, she was born, twenty nine, thirty. So that was a whole different place in my life too. That shifted everything in my life. It wasn't about me no more. You know, it was about my daughter, right? Um, and still is. Doesn't change that. But even more so, it's now exploring things that are greater than self. I had to go, uh, but last night I stayed up after four. Pay big time. <laughs> By kills would be up before B. Yeah, that's facts, bro. Hey, you know what? I appreciate you, Ty Solo, because you always come in and show your support, a love for the the, uh, the thing. So I definitely go go get some sleep so you can go do your your things. I appreciate you, hundred percent. Odapo, I think I may get off of here too. It's like almost twelve thirty because tomorrow is uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday or today is Wednesday. Whatever. Uh, so later today, I'm, I definitely got to get some things up. Jump the boogie, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, we should discuss too offline. Man. I would love to have uh, more conversation with you offline. You know, talking directly. So any any. Uh, thank you for the awesome talks. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. So fire. Uh, just like So Fire and many others, a few others have come to WhatsApp. Definitely look me up on WhatsApp too. Um, yeah, look me up on WhatsApp. Uh, I think it's under Babo Poisonable. Babo La Ala Big Bum. But anyway, if you need the uh, number that's connected to it, definitely DM me and we can go from there and I give that to you in that way so that you can um, we can connect on there as well. Because I like to have direct conversations too. I know that may be a little old school for a lot of folks, uh, but I like having direct conversations with folks. Um, so if uh, if you also would like to build on there, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, you know, this is this is the time to, to roll forward, right? Because uh, so much to learn. Um, so with five wise, you know, we'll go into that. And we can go deeper into that as, as things flow forward. Uh, those that are subscribers, please uh, feel free to connect with me and to um, ask questions or think of topics that you would like for me to deal with or, or connect to. I'm more than what more than willing to uh, open it up, and I need to look in there, and make sure that it, that's open for folks to do that, um, because it's important. It's important to have those things and and uh, focus is flow. Um, thank you for all those that that like, subscribe, follow, and share. Um, again, if you like these talks, if you like the things that I'm saying, you like how I'm saying it, um, and what's going on specifically, please feel free not only through the flowers and things that they come through here, but also um, through Cash App. You know, you enjoy what you're hearing, you, you know, you want more in different ways. Definitely hit me up on that way so we can keep this moving and grooving in that way. Uh, but also, if you are interested in Ifa or herbal medicine or herbal um, formulas or, or things like that, definitely feel free to DM me as well. You can go through there. I don't tell you, I'm trying to get people up, but they, it won't let me, um, it won't let me get people up right now. I got to turn, yeah, I got, I think I probably got to turn it off and, and take it off my, my phone and put it back on again. I don't know what's going down. One way or the other. I'm just going to get there. Um, okay. Yeah. One way or the other. That's what we're trying to do. Thank you for liking the live as well. I appreciate it. Um, so, you know, I always chop up my uh, my lives and stuff like that and put them out there 
but most of them will be for the most part on YouTube as well. So if you want to go back and, and look at some of those, you can um, definitely subscribe to YouTube as well so that you can see what's going on in that way. And we can get things moving and grooving in, down that side of the road as well, uh, because uh, it is important. It's important to really be able to have those discussions and conversations um, in multi streams, multi places, multi platforms. So it's not a, it's not like sending in one place and one place only. So get about my roke. I'm gonna start making rokes too. I had, um, I just need some other equipment. I think I'm gonna go get some of that equipment soon, and just to start making those again. I used to make a uh, Iroke Iroke Fuss. It's like a tapper when you're divining things like that. Um, definitely have a pueles for sale. Um, Iroke's uh, soon. Um, consecrated beads for Ifa. Uh, for waist beads. Uh, and also white coral. I have a lot of those things as well that I'll be having in soon. Um, consecrated and unconsecrated. Uh, and then, you know, again, bulk herbs. About to, I think I'm just going to jump the pool. I was trying to get these taxes down first, but, uh, and jump into this other platform that I want to get into for um, website wise. So that it can, you know, I can get back on that 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 churn again. Uh, but looking at those things, um, always looking to travel. Can I go focus in that way as well? Uh, maybe this summertime, I, I may be uh, uh, looking into with a few folks going into Texas, going to um, going to Texas, going to South Carolina, North Carolina. Uh, I'm not married, North Carolina. Um, and then, uh, possibly getting to Florida, Georgia too, cause there's some, uh, folks out there that was contacting me, um, as far as if I work and other things. So keep posted about that as well, because there's some of the things that are, are, are maybe lining up for the summertime because I want to, um, you know, get out there and, and connect with people that haven't, I don't know a lot about Abigba or Ifa in general. Um, so those are things that's coming that uh, gives a little bit more insight to things and how we can kind of develop and open them up a little deeper and greater for ourselves and others. Uh, yeah, so it's like 1230 in a Merton here. <laughs> so I may, I may jump the ship. I know we only, uh, had a few things rolling today, but I can't bring anybody up. So that conversation that I generally have with folks is not there either, which I enjoy. I truly enjoy it. I do want to comment on that. I truly enjoy the conversations that I've been having with people on this platform and definitely seek to continue that in a greater sense. Um, because that in itself is what feeds me and feeds others um, and is able to open up a dialogue about many different subjects and many different things. There's nothing I've ever said that was, that's super secret. There's just uh, things that people may or may not understand about the tradition that I do. I need to remember that the question I meant to WhatsApp you. Oh, <laughs> please Phil, if you're on WhatsApp with me, please ask questions on WhatsApp as well so that you can, I made the video after you, uh, your live yesterday and put thank you to you as a note on the screen. Oh, word. Ah, I didn't even see it. I got to go back to him. Yeah, I've been busy. I have been get a chance to look at it, a lot of stuff. I, I, I pop in when I'm really busy on, on, uh, TikTok and sometimes it, you know, I miss a lot. That's because I'm moving and grooving, which is a good thing. You know, when you have your own business, it's always good to be moving and grooving. Uh, because it, it means you're aiding, helping in others. And then, you know, you're keeping things moving in your side too. No, I didn't, uh, do a tag as I, as I didn't want to be a nuisance. No, no, no. There's definitely no nuisance. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Um, 
and for, I, I, you know, for everybody that I haven't got a chance to get back to, it's nothing personal. I just had to, I had to really just kind of slow down everything to get things moving, you know, uh, because whew, it's been busy, which is a good thing. Again, I, I, I appreciate all those that have come and continue to come because uh, that only makes things move greater for self and others. Um, so definitely, uh, if you're on WhatsApp or you would like to be on WhatsApp with me, we can kind of share notes and things on there as well, as well as on here. Um, and, you know, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, I'm on, on all those things, the platforms. Um, so definitely want to kind of build with folks as I can. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, yeah, so those that want to, please do so. Those that um, seek to build with me in any other way as far as studying, I always deal with that first EFI study, specifically what I'm talking about. I always build with that through EFI divination first. And then after two weeks and whatever, depending on what comes up, that's when those things begin to actually develop into study, uh, mm. deep study. It may be topics that we cover, but deeper than that, because those things are really important to open up and uh, explore too when we're dealing with those subjects. Because this is an oral tradition, it's not something that, you know, um, can be easily done on lives and stuff like that. So um, that's also the other side of that. Um, and thank you for all those that have reached out to me um, over the phone or uh, otherwise. I've come here, you know, I've traveled to be here. School run, yep, I see you, I see you. So far, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you. Or Dabo. Um, yeah, I'm about to get out of here too. It's like 12.37. But thank you for everybody that showed up, that's came in, that has uh, showed love over the time frame. I am definitely, uh, gotta, I guess I got to reload this, update this again, because it's, it's not letting me bring people up. Um, so the next one, definitely we can have a little longer, uh, because I want to, um, make sure that folks are clued in one way or the other. Um, yeah. And if you do, again, if you want an inquiry on if I, a big, but divination, then, or you seek to do those things specifically with me, DM me, but only serious people because i'm not gonna go back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth. if you're not serious don't don't dm me about it don't do it because we want to be serious about the things that we obtain and seek okay um because you know time is precious always right and i love to to chop it up and talk to build and everything else with folks with a purpose, of course. Um, so definitely those things are in the mist. Thank you. Thank you for coming in, though, and sharing your time, energy, and effort. If you seek to gain any other um, access to information that I spoke about or that you saw in uh, a live that you put, uh, that you seen, uh, or the posts that I put on throughout it. Definitely feel f uh, free to to um, DM me uh, or call me or whatever. You know, any, any of those things are really important because, um, you know, I'm open in a lot of ways. And plus, don't don't feel like you can't call me because my number is. You can contact me through my my DM as well. If you choose to, but just just text me first or come uh, do those things first, so I know who it is, so that I know it's not a a, a person that's seeking to um, scam or anything like that, because a lot of that stuff too. So if somebody's sitting there holding the phone and not, they're not saying anything, I'm block, you know, for real. So uh, those things are important, but anyway. I will talk to you soon. Hope that your day is as productive as mine is and will be. 
uh, without question, without doubt, life is full of blessings and abundance in Bokbo Yure. All the blessings of this earth are bound for me and those that hear with me. Uh, thank you for all the, the time, energy, and effort that you spent with me at this point in time. I think it's been about two hours now. Uh, hour and 45 minutes. So um, definitely throughout the day, if you choose to come, uh, text me if you have my number or DM me here, uh, please do so. Then I will return that um, based off of all of the other things that I'm I'm doing, definitely. Uh, and I will get back to you for certain. Any comments, questions, or anything like that, you can always go there as well. Um, and at any time, I always will respond, uh, eventually, if not directly. Um, and that is the road that I like to travel. Because, I, again, I appreciate all of those that are coming in that are asking questions, that are, are inquiring and things like that. Um, because you could have spent time many other places. So I appreciate you spending it with me and here and now. Um, yeah. And so we'll go from there. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, developing my life, help aiding me to grow in many ways. It just in questions, comments, and, and um, statements from many people. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming in. And I'll talk to you soon. Or double.